Hello everybody, I'm Natalie. Let me check. Yes, okay. Hello, I'm Natalie. Welcome to my new studio. And uh, I want to share with you today my number 100 ultimate carry all bag. Yes, it's my number 100. Congratulations to me. I made 100 of these bags since my pattern was released uh, about three years ago. Uh, you can find the pattern for this bag on blueprint.com if you're interested to make your own. Yes, I have tutorial plus several videos added to my tutorial. Uh, you can leave messages on your ch in chat. You can email me. I'm cooldessa at gmail.com uh, and I'll try to answer your questions. If you want to make your bag, this bag, uh, so you can uh, find me in my Etsy shop, Cool Tessence, Etsy shop, Cool Tessence. I also have a shop, uh, CoolTess.com. It's my own shop, and you can also find the pattern on Blueprint.com. Okay, and this bag, see the embroidery on it? Yes, I also do embroidery. Uh, this bag is going to Paris. Yes. The lady from Paris, France, ordered this bag. She wanted it in this lime green color and uh, with purple handles, so she will have exactly what she wanted to. Excuse me, I will turn down the video. I'm in my TV. Okay, I stopped it. So let's see what this bag is. This bag is pretty handy and is a pretty good size. It's 14 inch wide and it has 18 pockets. Yes, it has 18 pockets. One zippered pocket is right here. You can put here your phone, your notebook, some money, a couple bucks or something right here in front pocket and zip it. On the back, you have a, another pocket right here and also a sleeve. So you can put the bag on a roller cart uh, with your sewing machine or other roller cart. Actually, we use it for the roller cart for the sewing machine. So you can go on your retreat, your class, uh, your guild or your group, small group sewing group meeting. So you can hold this bag on a roller cart with you. Well, it's also convenient to put on the shoulder and walk like this. Well, Many people also use this as a travel bag or just a tote or other bag. Uh, one lady even told me she's using it as a diaper bag. You can stu uh, stuff it with diapers and look what else it has. When you open the bag, see the snaps? I usually snap it. So when it snaps, it looks like this. Can you see? And when you unsnap these buttons, you have an ironing pad right here. This is ironing pad. It's made of a special uh, padded fabric, which has aluminized the coating fabric. So you can iron it and the heat would be reflected. And it's also good because this fabric is good for fusible projects which uh, when you do fusible interfacing you can when you iron it it would not stick to the fabric but the only thing you need to know you can remove it when it's hot if you wait too long it will be probably too uh, difficult to remove but this ironing pad is very convenient for your small projects when you use your miniature iron uh, when you take it with you to your classes let's go ahead there are two large pockets one and another one. Both are zippered, fused with fusible interfacing, and of course lined up. On the inside, you can see two large size pockets, the purple ones, and every purple pocket also have additional mesh pocket. See this? And on the other side, on the on the large pocket, you have four additional mesh pockets so you can keep smaller items here like uh, spools like wonder clips like little 
uh, small items, whatever you want for your sewing needs. And the front pocket also has a mesh pocket right here with my label. Yes, I'm Natalie Kultessa. And my store is quiltis.com. Zippered pocket, also, of course, lined up. There is a zippered pocket. Two small pockets, purples, with attached vinyl clear badges, where you can keep also business card or other cards right here. I also attach, here is a swivel hook, and I attach vinyl clear bags, three to each bag. Each of them has a little pocket for the card. Here's my card. So it's easier for you to find me. See, Quiltess and Natalie, find me on Facebook, on Pinterest, on YouTube, on Blueprint. Here's my business card. So I attach three of these bags that go with this bag. And separating zipper on the top closes it up. So, congratulations on my number 100 bag I made. And this is only ultimate carry-all bag. Uh, I'm also making different bags. So, I can show you some of them. Let's go with me to my studio. And I'll show you more. This is ultimate carry-all bag. This is ultimate carry-all bag. It has a first place in Tennessee State Fair this year. This is my small bags. It's a small sewing bag. You can find the pattern also on uh, Blueprint in my Etsy shop and Quiltis.com. This is Quiltis organizer bag. Look, it's comparatively larger than small bag, but a little smaller than ultimate carry-all bag. This is another bag. This is one pretty bag. This one is made with cork. There's a cork on the bottom. It's a quilters organizer bag with a cork. You can find them in, the, in all my stores so you can see by the description of it. And here's my little sewing angel. Yes. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Congratulations on my number 100 bag I made, the ultimate carry-all bag. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want to discuss, is, I mean, if you have something to say, if you want to order my pattern or the bag, uh, you can leave messages in the chat to this video or email me or find me on media. You can also join my Facebook group, uh, Sewing with the Cool Tessa Natalie. Thank you. Bye-bye.